Well, hello there and welcome to another training nugget. In this video, I'll be showing you on how to blur text in Canva. So let's get started. The first thing you'll want to do is to have an account in Canva. If you don't, just navigate to canva.com and create a free account. To blur text in Canva, the first thing you'll want to do is to have the text in your workspace. So I'll navigate into my templates option, banners, and choose one that already exists. You can also feel free to use any other template of your choice or even create one from a blank section. I'll navigate to the kindergarten classroom and I'll click on that and use that as my template. Now, the text I would like to blur in this design is this one here. And remember, blurring text is extremely different from transparency. This is what transparency looks like, the amount of text that I can see. But in blur, it means text can be seen but more blurry. And like this, it works as a transparency tool. Changing the blur over text on Canva can be a little bit tricky. So to make this possible, what I'll do is to change or convert this text holder into an image so that it's easy for me to blur this text. So I'll navigate into my share option and select the download option. So I want to download this whole image and select the PNG and select download. Once the download is complete, I'll navigate into my uploads option, select it from the upload area and drop it in. Once the upload is complete, I'll click on that image that I have already created and square it out with the already existing design in my workspace. I will then navigate into the edit photo option and reduce the size of my image to fit exactly where my text is. I can then decide to delete the original text so that I don't have lots of things that are cluttered in my workspace. So the next thing I'll do is by selecting my image in here, I'll navigate into the edit photo option again and on the effects tool, I'll navigate all the way to the blur option. Notice that on my blur settings, I have the ability to use a brush which will blur some of the areas in my image but I also have the whole image blur and this is what I like to do. So on the intensity, if I know the intensity I like to use, I'll just keep it in there but if I don't then I can use this scale to showcase how much blur I have on my image. And once you're done, you'll navigate back into your, your whole image and you can tell that now the text that I had in here has been blurred. Well, I hope this video has been very informative and if you liked it, hit that subscribe button as I'll be seeing you in the next nugget.